Okay, folks, welcome back. I'm going to show you a slideshow. Um, those are movies. Don't worry about them. I'll show them later. So this is with the Z9. I was using the um, 24 to 800 on some of them and uh, then I got in the mail today after all you know watching this bird uh, in the bird bath and I got a few pictures of them or videos of them and it's raining once again at my house But just to show you, it's pretty sharp. And all this was through my front bedroom window. Now, this class I'm using, um, and you'll see some pictures right here. Uh, bed on made. I just woke up. Um, I got... Uh, the Brooks or the um, yeah the Brussels pre um, mirror one and it's a thirty it's a thirty seven millimeter f two point eight okay this is all on the Z nine it's a manual focus lens it's an M forty two it was made in Russia and after figuring out the uh, the right exposure and stuff I put it in manual mode. And I used the adapter that I got from KNF uh, Concepts. I got for the Nikon, and this is for the Nikon Z. So you can see all these pictures looking fantastic. And when I when the slideshow is over, I am going to show you the bokeh, and I'll show you some things about the camera also. Uh, with the how do I uh, change the uh, you know where it's dark in one scene and then I can make it brighter in the next scene so I found a neat feature with this adapter and uh, I'm pretty enthusiastic about this lens it does have a lot of noise but after I figured out if by putting it in manual focus or in manual um, mode I put it at 1 250th of the shutter speed and then I could deal with the uh, aperture light or dark and then of course the focusing all manual focusing and what I'm going to show you is this is at the 37 millimeters okay you can't get too close to um, or it just won't be sharp so you have to stay at a distance, but the bokeh is something else. So I'm almost done. And you can see some is dark. And then I try another shot where I brighten it up a little bit, but look at the bokeh on this. You will see noise, but I want to show you the swirliness of the bokeh. Yeah, I'm almost done. So experimenting with aperture priority um, won't let you do shutter. It will let you do program. But uh, I just decided to put it in manual mode and I have all the controls at my fingertips. And these last few pictures look fantastic. This is a 2.8 lens. You can see some are bright, some are dark. I'm experimenting on the uh, aperture ring. Well, not the aperture ring, the uh, kind of like the I ISO ring. Brightness to darkness. And I get it just at the right light. And these should be the last two. 
That should be it. Oh, I take that back. I did take a couple at the house across the street. And you'll see some cranes also. So actually I was going from one area to the other for focusing. I was testing the uh, brightness and darkness. The pictures are sharp. And I went to the backyard one more time. It started raining. I had to cut it out. But look how sharp that is. That should be the last one. Well, maybe not. I had to go back inside and have to stop and take some more pictures. These are all in RAW. I have NX Studio on. And I can play with the brightness and stuff too. Yep, that's it. So I'll close this just to show you. Uh, let's go back to the next studio. Okay. So just to show you some things, that's at 100%. I'm going to bring it to more. Nope, wrong one. So you can see the, how sharp the Z9 is, all right? So I'm going to skip a lot of these pictures. And you can deal with the brightness too. So I can go here, or I can go to different settings to set the brightness. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to show pictures, make it as quick as possible. Okay, there we go. Got the right one. So I moved some computers out. I cleaned up a lot of a mess. I, after all these pictures right here, and this is the other day when it was raining so hard. I think I showed some of these pictures. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Um, there's my dog Wanda. Okay, let me turn this off. Okay. So there's another movie. All right. I'm not going to show that. Here's a that white dove, uh, or that white-tailed dove, sitting on her egg again. Now, this is the. Um, yeah, I'm going to go to 100%. Well, maybe not. I'm getting a little bit lower. Yeah, I'll leave it right at that. That way it's just full screen, you can see everything. So this is the mirror. Um, one. I'm gonna turn on the light. I'm gonna show it off real quick. Get all this stuff out. So I'm going to go straight to my um, cam link overhead. It's already up there. So let me do a little bit of this too. Okay. Yeah, I want to show off this. This part right here. So right here. Is the KNF concept? It's a uh, Nikon Z to 
M42 screw on lens. You can see how small the lens is. This one first place in a Brussels Pre, 37 millimeter f2.8. And what I like about it is when you have a non-CPU lens, you lock it at 16 millimeters, which is right there. And this is for the lightness and darkness. Okay, so it's kind of like an ISO. And this, of course, is the focus. All right. That's how it works. So I'm going to turn it on real quick. Get this out so I can see. Okay. Turn it on. And just to show you, um, it's pretty well in focus right now. Okay. So by turning this, dark, light. So just by doing that, or doing the shutter speed, okay. So I got it at 2 50th. Oh, wrong one. See, 500, 320. So I got two ways of control the exposure, okay. I can do the, ex the uh, exposure compensation, but I left that at zero. I've been finding pretty good success at doing this, this way. I'm just going to turn it off. It's a great lens. It did not come with the front lens cap, but this bottom part does fit on the lens, okay? And you screw it on. Uh, the M42, I already showed you the package for that with the little... Uh, Thing. The lens is pretty well calibrated, okay? I got this from Ukraine, and, uh, you know, I was a little bit worried because it came in this box, okay? And I said, oh my goodness. Well, it was used, okay? It was very well packed, and I think this is Ukrainian postage right here. Okay, and then there is for me. I don't. Yeah, I couldn't figure out the country. I think it's Ukraine, but I'm not sure. Okay, there's the city. I don't know. And I, I do have a slip on here, but I can't read Russian. All right. It was in customs for a long time. But once they uh, cleared in customs, then they got here real quick. And of course, uh, with eBay, they ship it through the post office and they deliver today. And let me bring this all the way back. I always forget to do that. So let's go back to uh, what we're viewing. So that's the lens. I really like it. Uh, we're just going to uh, go past a lot of these pictures. So this is when I first tried it out in Aperture Priority. And look at all the noise. I mean, there is a lot of no noise, all right? So I tried the program. I tried the... Um, um, aperture priority and I didn't like it see see all that noise folks so I said I gotta do something better than that and then I said well put it in manual mode so let me bring it back to 100% maybe a little bit lower I think that's it yeah so I'll leave it at that. That's, it fits the whole screen, all right? It's a little bit above 100%, I think. But uh, I'll just continue on. So I, I'm trying to figure out how to work this lens. But uh, once they started figuring it out, then you get pictures like this. So you will see a little noise, okay? Look at the greens. 
but still, that looks like a fantastic picture. Okay. I'll go 100%, maybe down to. So it looks sharp, all right? But when you kind of pixel peek, then you'll see the noise. And you see, I, I made it brighter. So I'm starting to figure it out what to do with the lens, okay? And you can still see some noise. But you can't really get close to the subject because uh, of the way the lens is. So it's like a foot and a half, maybe a yard, I don't know. But uh, just trying it just to see how it looks. It looks real good right there, okay? And I'll do some more pictures. And see it's dark. So I, I what I was doing was I was taking two pictures at a time, all the way dark and all the way light. And the dog blue. And I went to the front yard, backyard. But look at this, okay? So uh, I'm figuring everything out. Look how sharp that is. Now, what I want to show you is the bokeh. So I see this is 2.8 and it fell off. So in my non-CPU lens, you can put it at F2, uh, F2.8, F8. I did experiments. I'll just write the file as an F8 or whatever you do. Okay, all it is is it doesn't set the aperture at that. It just sets what you write down in non-CPU. Okay, so I want to stress that. And, you know, I'm always doing experiments. But uh, look how I, I love the colors. I went, I was in neutral, then I went to landscape. And I keep hitting the wrong button. Okay, and I don't want to note. But but look at the swirly of the bokeh, okay? And it seems like it's going around like this, right around. It. And that's why I got this lens, okay? So it's more bokeh right there, because I was shooting kind of like left to right. But you can start seeing the swirl go. And I love, that's what, one of the reasons why I got this lens. And now you can see a little bit right here too, okay? And look at here in the back. This is the ditch. That's about 12 feet away, maybe 14, 16 feet away. But look at that. Uh, I think I got some with uh, some lights. But still, look at this picture. It looks fantastic. If I bring it up close. What do you think, folks? Is that a shot or not? And then you can see the bokeh behind it. Even with the ones just a little bit behind it, look at that. So I, I'm just going to leave it right there. Uh, I just wanted to show you this shot. Um, it's a great lens. I love it. Uh, I paid 91 bucks for it. And then with tax and shipping, it was like 120 Okay. It took over a month to get. I had to go to customs, whatever. But once customs is uh, let it go, that's what I have. So uh, I'll go back here. And that's the wrong one. I want to go right here. There's the uh, lens and stuff, and I'll bring it all the way up. Okay, that should be sharp. That's as close as I can get, folks. So, KNF Concept. It's an M42 uh, adapter to Nick. Nikon C, and this is the Mirror One um, Grand Prix 37 millimeter f 2.8, made in Russia. Uh, there is, let's see, Mirror One. Okay, so.
So it was made at this, which means it was uh, the, the 1950s and 60s were, I, I would say early, late 1940s, early 1950s, uh, they made this lens, I think it was in 52, where it won the award. Anyway, uh, it was made from that. Uh, when they moved uh, to a new building, because they had better quality control with the earlier lenses, the later ones, which was uh, done by uh, MKD, uh, something like that, you know, that they had less quality control and the lenses aren't that good. So there you have it. Thank you for watching. Remember, stay safe, keep smiling, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, folks. Have a wonderful day.